In the last 10 years, we've seen the rise of influencers. From bloggers, to vloggers, to Instagram models, to catfish. And with the rise of internet celebrities, we've also seen the rise in gifting. Brands sending influencers items for free in return for promotion. And in my time as an influencer, I've been gifted a handful of things. From my chair, to my electric skateboard, to crepe protect, even a suitcase. All these things were offered to me for completely free. Now recently, I hit 100,000 followers on Instagram. And since Christmas is coming up, this got me thinking. As an influencer, how much stuff could I get in the space for a week for free just because I have online followers. So I'm going to find out. Over the next week, I'm going to be trying a whole load of techniques, all trying to get free stuff from brands, and overall try and reach a goal of $1,000 worth of stuff sent to me for completely free in just the space of a week. So first things first, we had to work out what we wanted. So I set up a whole range of targets. So to start off, I'm thinking we go for the small cheap stuff and try to get lots of it. So I made a list here of the top 100 UK brands. A lot of them are food and drink companies. So all these companies are the top UK brands this year. From chocolate bars, to beans, to toilet paper. People. We're gonna try and get all this stuff for free. So my first route of attack is Instagram DM. So I'm gonna one by one DM each one of these companies, asking them to give me some free stuff. Now this is just the basic stuff. I wanna get some really cool stuff sent to us this week, but I don't wanna just go for really expensive stuff and then be let down. I wanna get something at least. So right now I'm gonna go through and DM each one of these companies and hopefully we get some responses. So I sent DM after DM, trying out a whole range of techniques. And you know I had to throw Balenciaga in there. Please, just send me some shoes. Guys, <laughs> update, it's been about 20 minutes. I'm going through the list. I've just done the 21st one and we've got a reply already. We're a quarter of the way through and we've already got one reply. It is from the legends at Nestle Cereal. I said, hey, I love your cereal so much. Would you be interested in sending me some to promote? And they replied, hey, glad you like them as much as we do. I can, of course, send some. We're getting free cereal. Yes. What a start to the day. So I told them my favourite. They asked me for my address. I sent it and it was confirmed. One down. Free cereal. This is easier than I thought. I was on top of the world. 20 minutes in and we'd already secured some free items. So I continued DMing the brands with so much hope until this happened. Oh no, guys, we might have a problem. So I'm 41 DMs in and we've been banned. <laughs> we've been banned from sending DMs. I've gone to send Haribo a DM. This action was blocked. Please try again later. They've stopped me from sending DM. I'm sending too many. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna have to wait a bit to send some more. We're nearly halfway though, we've got one reply. So hopefully we get some more. So I waited a few hours and started DMing again and I was fine. Well, I was for about five minutes. Ah. Uh. It's happened again. Action's been blocked. I'm currently 62 in and we've been blocked again. I'm probably gonna fall asleep. Instagram was against me today. How am I supposed to flex my clout if you're not letting me send DMs? So I called it a day. And the next day started on mixed emotions. All right, so it's the next day and I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. The good news is we got a couple of replies. Paul replied asking for an email address, which is promising. And Purina replied. They replied that I reached the US team and I need to talk to the UK team. So that's the good news. And now for the bad news. Oh, the bad news is bad. Yesterday, I sent a lot of DMs. I sent about 60 DMs to 60 different brands. Now, the way a lot of businesses use social media is they hire a separate agency to manage their social media. So there'll be one agency that manages all these different brands' social media and they'll reply to DMs, they'll post for them. Now, it didn't really cross my mind until I was about 40 in. What if these brands I'm messaging are all managed by the same agency? So this agency is on all these accounts and they're seeing I'm DMing every single one asking for free stuff. That did cross my mind. However, I thought, you know what? It'll be fine. Surely they're not. However, I told my manager about this idea a few weeks ago and he texted me yesterday asking about the video how I'm going to do it. So I said I started today with Instagram DMs and he replied Instagram DMs as in messaging brands for free stuff. I wouldn't suggest mass emailing slash DMing brands direct. It's what gets a lot of influencers blacklisted. Oh no. So he basically said stay away from Instagram DMs. It comes back to the agency thing. It's like if this agency sees that I'm DMing multiple brands the same thing asking for free stuff, they're going to be like, wait a minute. He just wants free stuff. He doesn't actually like the product. So Instagram DMs probably aren't the way to go. So we're going to have to make a new plan. So the new plan was to get help from my management. They were going to reach out to these social media agencies directly and try to get me free stuff. And whilst they were doing that, I decided to message some of my YouTuber friends, asking them ways they go about getting free stuff. And I got told about something I'd never heard of before. Influencer only app. And apparently these apps are for influencers. You can go on them and it shows you a whole list of free stuff you can get in real life and you can go get it for free. Deals for influencers. So I signed up but there was a 48 hour waiting list. It's going to take 48 hours. So in the meantime we had to try another approach. Yeah you can tell this video was a lot of trial and error. I'm going to set up an email purely to get sent free stuff and I'm going to post on my story saying if any brands follow me, reach out to me through this email, send me some free stuff and I'll put it in the video. So I made the email and I then shared it on my Instagram story. Alright 
right, so this week I'm filming a video where basically I see how much stuff I can get sent within a week for being an Instagram influencer. So saying that, if any brands follow me, either email this email right here or DM me. Okay, and share. And so I spent the rest of the night waiting for emails to come through and woke up to a surprise. Okay, so I've just woken up and there's a parcel at the door. There's only one thing this could be. I'm so excited. Here it is. This is our box from Nestle. We've got our first free item of the week. This box was sent to my house for completely free. I did not pay a penny. And I didn't pay for the stuff inside either. Let's see exactly what Nestle sent us. Ooh. Shreddy! Yes! <laughs> my favourite cereal. Oh my god. There's loads in here. We've got a box of original Shreddy. We've got a box of Cocoa Shreddy. We've got a box of Cocoa orange shreddy and a box of strawberries and cream shreddy limited edition this is the best day of my life two limited edition shreddies and two normal ones but that's not it there's more we've got what are these this is star wars what is it this is so sick i was literally expecting to get one box of cereal is this like a portable bowl it comes with a spoon and then you just eat it this is the same look all of this for completely free massive shout out to nestle our first package of the week so i celebrated the only way i should with a bowl of shreddies okay so it's been a good start to the day. Now we're going to check the email that I set up yesterday. So the first email we've got here is from Kira and it says sponsor. Hello Gorge. Gorge. I'm a business called Joe. And the joke is, you say who is Joe, <laughs> then I say Joe Mama. So please say who's Joe, then read this. Joe Mama. <laughs> so she sent me a joke, but she explained the joke and then told me the joke. I knew this wasn't going to be a good idea. We've got one here from Tilly called Clout, 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 Clout. Sorry, George, I don't sell anything. I just want clout. Haha, <laughs> please forgive me. Tilly, I can't forgive you for that. I want free stuff. I'm not giving out free stuff. I mean, I didn't really know what I expected asking the George Mason Nation. We're all catfishes. But these businesses aren't even real. So the email was no help. So it was time to check Instagram, dear. Okay, so top one here is from Regal Dog UK. And they've got these sick chains. I want one of those. They're going to send me a £94 chain. I'll have that. Oh, oh, it's actually... All right, okay. I thought it was a bracelet. I'm not going to lie. Brand's called Regal Dog because uh, <laughs> it's the dog. So I messaged them back and they said they'd send me one. And later, we got another DM too. So I messaged this company company called Cold Print Store because I noticed on their Instagram they sell Balenciaga t-shirts. Oh, they're not actually Balenciaga t-shirts, but they say Balenciaga and that's good enough for me. And they agreed to send us stuff. Now, the thing is this website do mystery boxes, so I'm thinking I get a mystery box, but I want to make sure I get a Balenciaga t-shirt too. So I'm going to ask for the Balenciaga t-shirt. For the rest of the stuff, I'm just going to let them choose. And our third package was confirmed. So things are finally starting to look up. I was worried at the start of the week no one would send me anything, but it's looking good. It's looking promising. And yeah, I've called so day four came around and it started by us getting accepted into the influencer only app and we've been accepted Let's see exactly what this app is about. So I met up with a few friends They explained to me how the app works click on it and then you show it to you, them You do yeah, you go redeem deal. Yes I want the deal and then you have to scan the QR code and we made it our mission to get as much free stuff as we could from the app in the next 24 hours We went to a kebab shop We ordered 30 pounds worth of kebab and got it all for free We then left and went to a trampoline park. We got six people's entry worth a hundred pounds all for completely free look at me bounce that's a free bounce you see that kid there and they paid for that bounce i got it for free so we made the most of the part we wanted to really make sure we got our money's worth then we left there and we were hungry once again so we headed to big mo's diner where once again we got all this food for completely free all because i have online followers all our food would have came to over a hundred pounds but we got it for completely free and after that i was all burnt out bouncing around on trampolines and eating free food is pretty tiring so i headed home. All right, so it's day five and no one's replying to us. Some companies have even left us on red. Literally. The dog food company left us on scene. They accepted the message request and just ignored it. Why would you accept it and then not reply? And they're not the only one either. This company did. This company did. And so did this company. Literally, when you get a DM from someone that you don't follow, it goes into your request so you can read it and then if you want to reply, you can accept it and reply. They accepted it and just didn't reply. The DMs aren't looking promising, I'm not going to lie. However, my manager all week has also been emailing companies and today I think he's sending me a list of all the companies that are going to send me stuff. So I had a call with my manager who explained all the companies that he'd been emailing and told me all the stuff that was going to come. Okay, update. Another parcel has arrived. This one is from Regal Dog. Okay, so inside oh, we've got a receipt. Oh, it says the price. $84.99 this would have cost. Look at that. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It looks sick. I look like a rapper. <laughs> Shout out to Regal Dog. This is sick. And 
after that, the packages came rolling in. And another package has arrived. More stuff has arrived. We got another parcel. Another package has arrived. We've been sent two more items. Both of these are from Copper 90. Big shout out to Copper 90. Look at this. We've got Copper 90 stickers. And we've got this t-shirt. I got two. We've got a Pret gift card. Thanks for that, Pret. And we've also got this. Now, this is from Klarna. Look at that. It's a football shirt. Thanks, Klarna. I love it. I think this is our mystery box from Cold Prince. It literally feels like Christmas. Look at that. Balenciaga. This is a big flex. This is sick. Fendi. Louis Vuitton. Look at that. Rocky and Skepta. What? That is sick. Try and call me broke now. I've got a Balenciaga t-shirt. Another package has arrived. It's from Copper 90 once again. Oh, wow. I got a football. It's the Euro 2020 official match ball. So I just checked online to see how much this was. It's worth £120 for a football. This is the most expensive thing we've been sent all week. This is just what we needed. But it didn't stop there. More stuff has arrived. We've got some headphones. I got this t-shirt from Social in the City. And I got these three snack boxes. It's a train line ring light. A train line bag. That's pretty sick. Guys, it's good news. I've woken up. I've checked my phone. And I've been verified on Instagram. Thanks, Instagram. Hashtag gifted. The biggest catfish of 2019 has been verified. Officially the biggest catfish of 2019. And just like that, the week was over. And so the week is over. I'm not gonna lie to you, it hasn't been a week. It's been about a month. So I did actually do all this in a week where I tried to get all the stuff. And then I was gonna wait another week for all the stuff to arrive. However, it didn't work like that. Some stuff has taken so long to arrive. And some stuff, it just hasn't arrived. I was supposed to be getting an air fryer, a hoover, and a speaker. They just haven't arrived. I'm not sure if they're coming from like China, so they're gonna take like three months to come. Or if they're even coming at all. I'm pretty sure one of you has catfished me. And whoever has catfished me, I will find you and I will catfish you. But regardless, we still do receive a lot of stuff this week. Here is everything we got. Here is everything I've received over the last month just by emailing brands for one week. Now, I set myself a goal at the start of the week of trying to get a thousand pounds worth of stuff. And did I get it? No, we didn't receive a thousand pounds worth of stuff. But I've done all the maths, I've added all the prices together, including the free food we got and the free experience of trampolining. It comes to a grand total of £823, which to be fair is a lot of money. Some stuff like the train line bag and the Klarna t-shirt aren't actually for sale to the general public, so it's kind of hard to say how much they're worth. So overall, I would say it was a massive success. Some of the stuff we got is genuinely really cool. I'm really happy with. I'm not gonna lie, I thought this week would be way easier than it was. I thought I could just message companies and they'd just send me stuff easily, but it was actually a lot harder than I expected. I do now have a lot of stuff though, so should I do a giveaway? Do you guys want some of this stuff? Let me know on Instagram because we haven't got YouTube comments. Let me know if any of you guys want any of this and if you want, I'll do a giveaway because I didn't pay for any of this, so I might as well pass it off. But yeah, guys, it's been George Mason DV. If you haven't enjoyed, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It's been George Mason over and out. Boom.